Now, if you followed on for the, the last video where we just bled the SRAM brake um, and you're interested in getting some more performance out of it, some more lever feel, then um, let me show you how to do a piston service. What we're going to do is we're going to, um, at the caliper, we're going to uh, extend the pistons, lubricate them, push them back into the caliper, uh, again, clean all the excess oil off. Um, and that way we can, put, when we put the pads in, make it really easy to align the pads directly with the disc so you get maximum performance on this kind of stiffest, most powerful uh, feeling brake. So the caliper is bled, the whole brake's bled. Now to extract the pistons safely, I'm gonna put a four mil Allen key, it fits right in the slot where the disc goes. And I'm gonna pump the lever. The bleed syringe I reinstalled, so we're um, never gonna run dry or uh, you know put any more air into the system. I'm gonna pump the lever, push the pistons out. I won't be able to do it on camera with just one hand, but I'll show you in a second what this looks like. So I pump the lever you know, maybe 10 times. Um, you know, this piston came out first, met the Allen key, then the rest followed. And you could feel the seals are really dry. You can even see how dry the caliper pistons are. On the Allen key, the formal Allen key just stops the pistons going out too far and falling out, and then you have to do the full bleed again. So now I can take the Allen key out. I'm gonna grab a Q-tip put some, uh, dip it in some dot fluid, go around the edge of each piston, and then I'm gonna push the pistons back into the caliper nice and carefully once they're all lubricated. So I'll dip that in there, you can see it soak up. And we'll come over here, go around this piston. And this one, this one, and I'm going to do the bottom of them as well. These are all lubed up. I like to use some flat nose or needle nose pliers to push them back as long as your square edge on the piston, you should be fine. If you're scared of this, then you can just use a plastic tar lever. But I'm just going to slowly push that one back. I would start with the one that's the furthest out. Push that one back. This guy. And this last one. So we've retracted all the pistons back. Um, now the seals, the square cut seals are all lubricated. I'm just gonna clean uh, the caliper off again with some bike cleaner. Uh, it's okay to use some dot fluid or you can use some disc brake cleaner if that's uh, what you want to. And then we can reinstall the wheel, uh, line the caliper, put the pads in, adjust the pads, take the bleed syringe off, and then you'll feel just an amazing difference, super light, um, once we get it all set up. Now the caliper's all dry, pistons are all the way back. Let me install the wheel and then we can put the pads in. So I just put the wheel on. You can see how the caliper is way out of adjustment. The, the disc is you know, really close to, to this side. So I'm gonna loosen this bolt and this bolt probably half a turn, then just manually move the disc again to line it up with the center of the caliper, which is these two lines just there. There we go. So you can see now the disc sits perfectly in the middle of the caliper. This one's not bent, which is nice. Now wait for our pads. The pad spring's in the middle there. I'm actually going to add some preload to this spring. I'm going to splay the two pads apart. Hopefully you can uh, visualize it here. The, I'm going to grab you know, one pad with my two fingers on this side, other hand on this pad, 
and I'm just going to manually uh, pull them apart from each other. I mean, there's going to add some preload. I can't film it, unfortunately, because it's just myself, but um, hopefully you'll get a visual representation of uh, what I mean. So there you go. So hopefully you can kind of grasp. I didn't go too far, but now when um, we install them, they're going to the, there's going to be a lot much more preload on the spring, and it's going to sit against the uh, brake pistons just a lot harder, so it won't rub as much. We can install the brake pads flush with the top there, just like that. Grab our pad retaining pin, put that in, and tighten that up. Now at this point, if you had the retaining clip for there, you would put it on, we don't in this case, it's not so important, but uh, you can see the pads are in, they're flush against the brake pistons, but we still have to pump the brake up to manually move uh, the pistons. What we'll probably see is one side moves uh, first, but then we're going to put a flat blade screwdriver in and just manually move each pad back and forth so that the disc stays in the middle and the pads meet the disc at the same time. I'm just pumping the brake now. You can see this the, the, the rear right, or closest to me right, is moving first, and then those two there. So there's a gap on one side, and then these two pistons here gone too far so we're just going to put a screwdriver in behind this pa this pad push those back and at the same time as pushing these back we're going to pump the brake again and it's going to make this side move out and this side move back in now you can see we've got a gap on both sides so i'm going to put this back in there pump the brake and then it's going to make this side move out and these guys stay in there we go so i've moved the pad so you can see the disc right in the center tiny little gap you'll have to manually move you know one side maybe a bit too far then go back move the the other side this technique when you get it dialed is really easy and because we lubricated the pistons again it's, it's really easy but now when we activate the brake, the pistons, the pads meet at exactly the same time and it's the firmest possible feeling. And if you know, you're riding a Code RC, it's gonna feel pretty good anyway, but if you're riding like a Guide R, a Code R, this piston service is really gonna improve your brakes dr dramatically. So that was a SRAM brake piston service. I would definitely recommend it if you had the time. Uh, you get much better braking. Uh, not very difficult, don't let it intimidate you. You just need a couple extra steps, a uh, few minutes, and uh, it's gonna make a world of difference to your brakes. Uh, please check out uh, bikegarage31.ca, I'll have links below. Uh, I've got uh, tubeless valves and tape, i got merch too. Um, let, shoot me a message if you have any questions. Thanks. These uh, uh, Code RSC brakes use a uh, bearing in the lever there. If you're running a, you know, an R brake, an RS, there'll just be some plastic bushings. You can spray some, some oil, some chain lube in uh, and down here. And again, it's just gonna make the lever feel very buttery smooth. Not necessary really on the RSC again, because you've got a bearing there. Another tip is you can take some disparate cleaner, put it on a mic fiber or, or a shop towel, and just clean your disc. We'll see how dirty this comes out. I just cleaned uh, both of the discs. Look how dirty that dirt comes off. So pretty good idea to do that every single time. You bleed your brakes, and you know, if you're riding uh, a lot, you can do it every single ride. It's not going to hurt.